This episode of Photonics Hot List is sponsored by Metal Arc Optics, where they take on what others won't. Challenge accepted. Hello, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World. Let's take a look at some of the amazing things happening in photonics. It's bright and bold and breaking world records. A new green laser based on coherent beam combining is already bringing more to the table than its traditional counterparts. The 500 watt single mode continuous wave 532 nanometer laser developed by Jerusalem based Sivan lasers as part of the CBC Green Eureka project, a collaborative initiative with Fraunhofer IWS, Siemens and Thyssenkrupp produces beam quality the researchers say is exceptional and unmatched by other lasers. While conventional lasers attain high brightness by pushing power through a single crystal channel, which risks severe damage, this new technology uses coherent beam combining, a groundbreaking approach in and of itself that joins multiple lasers in a singular coherent beam without compromising the system. As scientists are continuing to explore the new laser's capabilities and immense potential, it's already being used in applications such as welding and additive manufacturing. Hybrid perovskites now in development are primed to take technologies like LEDs and lasers to the next level. A collaborative team from Purdue and Duke universities is growing the novel perovskites, a naturally occurring mineral with a crystal structure commonly used in solar cells, by controlling how multiple organic and inorganic layers are arranged within the crystals. With enhanced tunability, the researchers can, in turn, control electron and positive charge carrier energy levels. 2D perovskites are promising lasing materials given their stability, high optical gain, and emission efficiency, but they're also too soft and the electron-phonon pairing is too strong to allow functions like lasing. 3D perovskites, while chemically unstable in its infinite number of layers, can be made stable and they're color tuned via quantum confinement. These organic semiconductor incorporated perovskites maintain the optoelectronic properties of their conventional counterparts, making them potentially much more efficient. Controlling aspects of the material like their thickness and layers is a crucial step toward advancing optoelectronics, the researchers say, and that control vastly improves the perovskite's stability. The future of meta-services is upon us in the form of quantum state sources. Researchers from the Max Planck Institute for the Science of Light and Sandia National Laboratories have created a metasurface device that can trigger quantum entanglement in ways that were impossible even just a year ago. The new metasurface device features meta-atoms, an array of notched nanoscale elements shaped like cubes, made of gallium arsenide, a semiconductor material coated on a glass substrate. When a laser beam goes through it, the metasurface produces complex webs of entangled photon pairs at the same time and at different wavelengths. Multifunctionality is key for metasurfaces, man-made surfaces that interact with light and other electromagnetic waves in ways traditional optical elements can't, to become quantum state sources. The team can now simultaneously support numerous nonlinear effects, or both linear and nonlinear, at the same time. These nonlinear metasurfaces could potentially replace large, complex optical setups. The researchers' next step will be to improve efficiency, a challenge with metasurface materials given their tiny size. Boosting the emission rates will be crucial for their use in applications such as quantum key distribution, sensing, and imaging. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time.